Here at First Assembly in Shippensburg, uh, we're in the middle of a sermon series, not really sure how long it's going to last. I have on purpose not been in a hurry. I titled the series, Spiritual Things in Church. You know, there are uh, a lot of things about church life that people on the outside and even people on the inside don't understand, but they're either afraid to ask or they feel embarrassed or maybe they would just as soon make up stories about other camps so that they make themselves look better. Yeah, I just said that out loud. Whatever the reason, there is no reason to be uninformed. The Apostle Paul, in writing to Christians in Corinth, uh, began what we know as the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians with these words. Now, dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about the special abilities the Spirit gives us, I don't want you to misunderstand this. That's the New Living Translation. Uh, other versions say something like, I, I do not want you to be ignorant. I don't want you to be uh, unlearned about these things. God is not keeping us from learning more about him. We have his word authored by the Holy Spirit. And when we pray that the Holy Spirit helps us to understand these things, he will. There is no need for, well, I think that, or uh, doctrine that gets way, way off the beaten path. We have the Word of God. We have the Holy Spirit, a, a, every much God as the Son and the Father, living within us if we're born again. We have the potential of having the Holy Spirit of God fill us to overflowing and that we can be used beyond our natural inclinations, beyond our natural talents and abilities that everybody is born with as a creation of God. We are given the opportunity to step into deeper uh, areas of service empowered by that very Holy Spirit. Aren't you glad we're not left on our own? So in, in looking at this series about spiritual things in church, Yes, we're talking about spiritual gifts, and in particular the ones in 1 Corinthians 12, but it, it, it's an approach that says there's more to it than just a list of gifts, right? After all, when, when Paul was writing to the believers in Corinth, he wasn't writing to tell them, now listen, you need to know there are these gifts of the Spirit. Not at all. No, he was writing a letter in response to a letter he received from them, telling about some things that were going on that were not right. It was not that they weren't being used and operating in these manifestation gifts. No, it was the immaturity with which they were operating. So some people look at 1 Corinthians and say, well, uh, we need to be mature Christians. We're just going to throw all this out. No, that, that's not it at all. It, it's everything. We want the whole package. If we are in Christ, we should be seeking everything that he has for us. So when we, when we talk about these questions about spiritual things in church, it's so important to understand that God is not withholding answers from us from heaven. He's not holding us at arm's length and saying, well, only the professional Christians get to know the answers to these questions. No, every believer in Christ, God wants to whisper heaven's secrets to you. Well, I've been thinking about doing what I'm doing now for quite a long time and trying to carve out time in which to get it done. And I'm going to try to, every Wednesday afternoon, be able to share something uh, on Facebook and YouTube at least, uh, of a little bit of a kind of a, a, a quick wrap up of where we're at in this series. Now, we've already gone into week five, so I'm going to be about five weeks behind, maybe six weeks behind, since I'm just kind of uh, getting started on this today. But maybe just a time for us to understand like a five-minute meditation uh, as we follow up on some of the uh, Sunday morning messages that uh, we've been doing here at First Assembly. Uh, certainly love to have you join us in person, but uh, that's not the intent of this. It's not to promote the church. It's just to take some time to, uh, to talk about things of God, to talk about spiritual things, to help us all as we are in different places in our growth and experience in Him. Hey, you know, we're all part of the body of Christ if we're born again. Uh, there's no spiritual hierarchy here. Uh, God wants us to understand the deeper things uh, of heaven 
and he wants to share them with us. And aren't you grateful that we serve a loving God? Let me pray with you today. Father God, I'm thankful that we have this opportunity to share with people both within our church and without, maybe Christians that go to other churches, just a chance uh, to not try to sway anybody's opinion, but just to stimulate and foster some deeper uh, experience with you. I thank you, Lord, that uh, we can get as close to you as we want, as you're waiting with arms wide open saying, child, let me tell you some more. Let me take you deeper today. Father, we thank you for this, and I thank you for everyone who's watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. I welcome you. Any comments or questions that you may have, you can put in the comments, or you can always email pastor at agshp.org. God bless you. Have a great day.